I'm Kaylin Hawk, and this is my Cellcraft project. So over here we have the wall for the cell membrane. I chose this because the cell membrane protects the cell, and this wall is protecting everything inside of it. The cell membrane provides protection for the cell. It also transports nutrients into the cell and toxins out of the cell. As you can see, here are some nutrients and toxins that can go in and out. When we go in, over here we have the capital. Um, this is the nucleus, and I chose it for the capital because the capital of this place like rubs it all just like the nucleus does. It is the center of the cell. It controls and regulates the activities of the cell too. So here's like the control center and some people working. Over here we have the mail room. I chose this for the Golgi complex because it transports, modifies, and packages proteins and lipids to different destinations, just like um, the mail rooms do, and they deliver the mail. So that's what these people are doing. And as you can see, the rails are going to the different spots in the map. Over here we have the solar plant. Uh, this is the chloroplast. I chose this because the chloroplast takes light from the sun and converts it to energy just like solar plants and like solar panels. So this is a chloroplast. It stores energy so the cell can function. And then here is a solar panel. Over here we have the chemical plant. This is the mitochondria and since it uh, powers the cell's biochemical reactions. That just made me think of chemicals, because, you know, biochemical. So here's the chemical plant. Uh, the mitochondria generates energy needed to power the cell's biochemical reactions. So there you go. There's a worker. Over here, we have the water source. It is the vacuole, and I chose water because it's a water source. Um, we have the vacuole. This helps maintain water balance throughout the cell. So, over here we have scaffolding. Uh, I chose this as the cytoplasm because the cytoplasm supports organelles and cellular molecules and is supporting the wall. So, there. And, you know, over here we have the lunch stand. This is the endoplasmic reticulum this produces proteins in order for the cell to function just like in real life we cannot function without food so that's why i chose the lunch stand because they're similar over here we have the garbage center this is for the lysomes i chose this because they the lysomes break down excess cell parts and they like help break down stuff just like garbage centers so that's why I chose the garbage center. So the lysomes, these help break down excess cell parts and they help fight viruses and bacteria. Over here is my best attempt at a triangle for the recycling center. Um, these, the recycling center represents ribosomes and they bring together amino acids. And that made me think of um, the recycling center takes old things and they make new ones, so they bring stuff together and make new things. So uh, they bring together amino acids. This helps form particular proteins, and it's important because this completes the cell's activity. So without it, it wouldn't really be a cell anymore. And yeah, that's my Cellcraft project.